Good morning, all. So, welcome to another session of signals and systems. So, today we are starting the subject signals and systems, uh, which is uh, triple E T three zero five for BTEC triple E two thousand nineteen scheme. So, for in, in your S five, you have some fifth semester, you have this subject. So, today in this session, I will be discussing about the exam pattern. Similar, just like we have started the electromagnetic theory, we will be discussing about the exam pattern, then syllabus, not the syllabus in detail, but what actually is covered in the first five modules. Like, I mean, the five modules, total five modules are there. So what actually you are studying in the five modules? And then uh, what is it? What is a signal? What is a system? And what is the difference between signal and system? So today it will be a very short video. Okay, now let's see. So when it comes to signals and systems, you know that signals and systems are two fundamental quantities. So they are defined as two fundamental quantities, two fundamental quantities used in all engineering fields used in electrical, electronics, communication, engineering. So signals and systems are used everywhere. So what we study is we start in. So in the first module, what you are studying is we study about the properties of signal. So what is a signal and what are the properties we study? And then we studied about the properties and principles of signals. Properties and principles of signals and how they interplay between them. So how a signal is affecting a system and what does a system do to a signal? All these things we study here. So interplay between them. So interplay between signals and systems. So signals and systems, they are two fundamental quantities that is used in almost all the engineering fields. To be, to be more precise, we can say they use in electrical engineering, electronics, communication engineering. So you might know also trans transmission of speed signals, you know, audio signals, you know, video signals, you know. So all these are signals. So now let's see what you mean by a signal. So we directly move on to the subject. So what do you mean by a signal? So signal is defined as a quantity that has a physical quantity. So signal is a physical quantity. Signal is a physical quantity that conveys, signal is a physical quantity that conveys information about some physical phenomena. So it conveys information about some physical phenomena. Example, uh, we can say example for signals are electromagnetic waves. We have studied in electromagnetic theory. Then speed signal, then voice signal, there are all examples of signals, right? So you know that you have studied in the electromagnetic theory session, the fourth module, an electromagnetic wave, it, it varies with both time and space, right? So a signal is something which can vary with time and space. So a signal, varies with both time and space. I'll give you an example. Consider an alternating current, AC. So you know that an alternating current will be varying like this. 
consider a DC. So it's not DC, it's not varying, right? It is direct. So this is the DC current. So since now we have studied signals and systems, we will see that this is a signal and this is not a signal. Why? Because it is not varying with respect to time or space. So that is the best understanding that I can give you. Okay, now let's see what is a system. So coming to what you mean by a system, a system is a meaningful interconnection of physical devices and components. So you can see this figure here, like you can see the schematic representation here. This is a system and we give an input signal. So it is manipulating one or more signals. So in our subject, we are studying about only a dependent, only a single signal. We will come to that. So it manipulates one or more signal to accomplish a function, thereby yielding a new signal. So uh, an input signal was given to a system and we go, got an output signal. So such things are coming into effect on a large scale in a control system. So in your next semester, you will be studying about control systems. So you can understand that in a control system, we give a signal, a controlled signal is given to a system and we go to a controlled output. So those things you will see there. So that is a system actually. So it has a, it is a body to which we give a signal and in turn the system does some processes and we get the desired output. So, so to, to be more precise, we can say it, it also extracts a certain behavior from a signal and what kind of system has to be designed. Right? To get a particular kind of output from a signal, we need a particular system and we get the output. For example, we can take a water pump. Right? So water pump means electrical energy, the motor, the motor will be in such a way that we give electrical energy. So electrical energy is given, that is an input signal. And the output signal that we get is a mechanical energy, right? That is, that's how the turbine rotates. Sorry, not like, like electrical to mechanical energy. I'm talking about a motor. So electrical to mechanical energy conversion. So that's a system, the motor is a the system there. The pump is a water pump is a system there. So in such, in, so that's an example of a system. So I hope you understood what is a signal and what is a system. So, so we, now we will study in detail what are the properties of the signals, what are the operations that we can do on a signal. And also you understood what is a signal and what is not a signal, right? Signal means it should be varying with respect to time. Now let's see some applications of the signals. applications of signals. So it has a worst application. So if it comes to the electrical field, we can say that our systems, voltage signal, current signal you say, right? Then smart grid, then when it comes to electronic signals, that is TV, radio, all these electronic signals. Then if you come to the communication system, you always say about the Wi-Fi signals, right? Wi-Fi, then this is 802.11x Wi-Fi signal, you know, those are not about the Wi-Fi router and all, you know what it is. So just study Wi-Fi signal, then, 3G, 4G signals, it's all part of communication only. Then the control, instrumentation, aircraft, all these are based on some signals and also we give some signals, we get some of, so these are all applications of signals. You know all these things, you have studied, you have, you, you might have studied all these things in your physics also, 12th standard physics also, but now you are concentrating on something called signals and systems and we are studying what are the operations that we can do so a lot of things we are studying. So with regards to what we are studying in this particular coursework, which is comprising of five modules, 
I will just brief you like I have done in the, my EMT first class. So we will be studying about the properties of signals and systems. Then we study about Fourier series and Fourier transforms. It's actually a mathematics. Then we also study about Laplace transforms. Then going ahead, we study about control systems. So module three is all about control systems. So when we were studying, when your seniors were studying, this module three was actually part of a, a part of a topic called control system, subject called control system, which you're studying in, in your next semester. So now they have included it in module three. So control system is what is coming here. Then four is all about is a transform. So I'm just giving you a rough idea. So is a transform and sampling. So sample the signals, not a continuous one, discrete type signals we're talking about. And the fifth module is actually about DTFT and DFT. So DTFT is discrete time Fourier transforms and fifth module is discrete Fourier transform. Those, those, are, those are all discrete type on, and not continuous, discrete type. And the second module, which uh, Fourier series and Fourier transform is for continuous time. And this is for discrete time. So there are two types of signals, continuous and discrete. So all these things you will study. So, and then how these signals will come. So, so by seeing the five modules, you might have understood that what is the most important thing here? You should be good in mathematics. So you should be well aware of calculus. That is basic integration, differentiation, and then about the complex numbers. So I request everyone to brush up these things if you get time, or else don't worry during the coursework or whatever is required, I will just brush up if time permits. So these things are very important when you study about the signal because you want to integrate a signal, you should differentiate a signal. So all these things, you should be well aware. Now coming to the exam pattern, same as what you have studied because exam pattern. So part A, part A will be 10 into 3, 30 marks. Each module, two into three, six marks. And then part B will be 14 into five, that is 70 marks. So each module, 14 marks. You, you know, you get, maybe you will get all questions and all, you, you know, all these things, right? So, I hope uh, everyone has followed today's introductory section. So we have discussed about what is a signal, what is a system. So you understood what is it all about, why you are studying, then what is the difference? So how a system brings about a change in a signal so that we get a desired output. Example also I told you, right? Then applications of signals. So you should know how we are using. And then this is the Complete, complete coursework, right? Five modules, what you are learning, the course objectives. And these are the prerequisites. Calculus, integration, differentiation, complex numbers. And this is the exam pattern. Thank you.